There is a 50-50 chance that you are watching this video home alone and that you are an introvert. Welcome Thailand Tervren. He's our next vlogger and he knows exactly how to be successful as an introvert. Tyler, how would you describe introversion? Uh, introversion is simply one of two ways of being. You can either be a, a high-energy extrovert who looks for, uh, who looks for uh, lots of uh, things outside of people, or you can be an introvert, someone who's more closed off and to themselves a little bit. Yeah, and what, what's the name of your blog? Because you have a blog for introvert people. Yes, it's called Riskology. It's all about uh, learning how to deal with your introversion and becoming a better person along with it. And could you please share your top five tips for introverts and how to succeed in life? Yes, of course. So first of all, I would say don't try to be an extrovert. So there's nothing wrong with being an introvert. Uh, first of all, you must own it. So second, uh, because we go through life with a little bit more energy than, uh, than we ought to, don't drink coffee. Uh, when you're busy with, or when you're out busy with lots of people. What um, will happen? Don't, I'm sorry? What will happen if you drink coffee? Well, because introverts are wired to be a little bit more uh, anxious during social interactions, the caffeine from coffee, so caffeine in general, uh, can raise your anxiety even more and make it a little bit more awkward of a situation for you. <laughs> okay. Um, and what's the third? Third is don't schedule or, or sorry, uh, schedule your meetings at high energy times. So uh, knowing when you are naturally energetic and when you're not is good so that you can schedule social interactions when you're naturally at a high level. Uh, fourth would be to set deadlines on your social engagements. So it can be a little bit, ang uh, cause a little bit of anxiety to schedule lots of meetings when you're an introvert. So if you can find a way to have a natural ending to each meeting so that you know that if things are going poorly, you can get out, uh, that's always good. And you can always go longer if you want to. Um, and then also for fifth, uh, don't schedule important work and social events back to back. Uh, you need to know that you know, your natural energy level probably won't allow you to be turned on and high energy all the time. So make sure you have downtime between uh, your social engagements yeah. and when you're trying to start doing really important thought intensive work. Thanks so much for joining us Tyler and for your mini lecture on uh, introversion. And if you guys want to know more on introversion or on Riscality, check out coach.me for Tyler's program. Bye bye.